Hello and welcome. A number of years ago I did a video on the differences between a soprano trombone and a slide trumpet. At the time I had a soprano trombone in my possession and it was this one in fact. Now I have a soprano trombone and a slide trumpet in my possession so I thought I would redo that video and just give some more sort of general thoughts on the matter. In short though Manufacturers these days sell this instrument in this particular sort of style, calling it both a soprano trombone or a slide trumpet or a mini trumpet and so forth. Now my general overarching principle is that the correct name for an instrument is whatever the manufacturer sells it as. Uh, they make the thing, they get to choose what they call it. Now calling this a, uh, a slide trumpet, I disagree with that. I don't think it is correct. But if a manufacturer wants to call this a slide trumpet, then sure, have at it. Uh, I'm not pedantic enough to you know, hugely care, or at least I'm not pedantic enough anymore for it to really bother me all that much. Uh, this though, I will still refer to as a soprano trombone because it is a member of the trombone family. It looks very much like a trombone. In fact, the proportions of it are proportional mostly to a tenor trombone. They are more proportionate than to a tenor trombone than any other instrument. Um, and you can play it in the same manner. The landmarks are the same, so third position roughly aligns with the bell and so forth. You hold it more or less like a trombone, uh, and you see them in use in trombone choirs. Not that any of those characteristics by themselves are definitive, but they help build the case for that. This, however, is a slide trumpet, and by some definitions you could also refer to it as a trombone. It looks somewhat like a trombone. It certainly probably looks more like a trombone than it does a trumpet. Um, it's made from bits that could be found on a trombone, potentially. Uh, so you could easily make the argument that this is just a sort of weird soprano trombone as opposed to a slide trumpet. But this was sold as a slide trumpet, so I tend to call it a slide trumpet. It is, however, not in proportion to a trombone. Your bell end is almost right at the end of the slide. The mouthpiece sticks out above the top. Those characteristics tend to make it a little bit more visually like a trumpet. Now, historically, slide trumpets were defined as being very much similar to a normal trumpet, an open trumpet in particular, but it only had one telescopic tube, so you would have for instance, a long lead pipe, and the whole instrument would move in and out, whereas the lead pipe would be the bit that telescopes. And so one of the old definitions that was used to define is it a slide trumpet, is it a trombone, was that you'd only have one telescoping tube, whereas a trombone, you would have two telescoping tubes. You'd have both of these moving, or in the case of you know this instrument, uh, the slide moves on both uh, of these inner tubes. Now that definition obviously doesn't stand true for this particular version of the slide trumpet. So again, we can't necessarily use that as gospel. And with every manufacturer who has sort of made these style of instruments, there's going to be variations to prevent copyright and patent infringements and all the rest of it. So that sort of adds a little bit to these murky waters. If we Putting pedanticism aside, for instance, for a moment, and just thinking practicality-wise, what is the practical difference between these instruments? Well, ostensibly, there aren't really anything meaningful. They play a little bit differently. They feel a little bit different to play. The sound is a little bit different, um, but I don't really think that there are any instances where you would play this and you couldn't play this and vice versa. Uh, from a practical perspective, the experience of playing it and the sound that you get is so close that they might as well be interchangeable, despite the fact that they look different. Personally, I prefer this uh, instrument because you can hold it like a normal trombone and you have the very helpful landmark that third position aligns with the bell, fourth position, the end of the tubing aligns with the bell. That's, you know, very useful. On this particular slide trumpet, 
Uh, you don't have that landmark because the bell is all the way down here. However, they've helpfully put notches on the slide so you can sort of align roughly where the end of the slide needs to go. Uh, this is also an instrument that was made allegedly during the off season. It's very inexpensively made, so uh, and it tends to wobble a little bit more than uh, what the actual soprano trombone does. And there's no convenient way to hold it. You're sort of sort of grasping the outside of the bell here. So from a practical perspective, I prefer my Jupiter soprano trombone here. At least you can sort of more or less hold this like a trombone. But from a sound perspective, how do they differ? Now my go-to uh, piece is the Acrobat for demonstrating uh, trombones. So I will play an excerpt of that on both of these instruments. And you can argue amongst yourself in the comments which one you prefer. The last comment that I'll make is that uh, the soprano trombone here has a larger bore. Uh, the slide trumpet actually has a, a noticeably smaller bore. Uh, you might actually prefer using a smaller mouthpiece than a full-size trumpet mouthpiece in this instrument.